at almost 35 feet long, roughly 7,000 pounds dry, but could easily sleep nine, plus all types of features and amenities that even a luxury coach would be jealous of. You're gonna love this mid-tier Heartland Mallard M32. Hey, what's up? It's Chris Young. Today, I'm going to be talking about a great family travel trailer that if you're looking for that mid-tier or you're looking for your second family travel trailer, this one's going to be the sweet spot. And hey, if you like this video and you want to see more, or if you think, you know what, this is great, but what else do you have? We have tons of videos at the Camping World YouTube page. So just give us a like, give us a subscribe, and find the RV of your dreams. So what do you say with this Heartland Mallard M32? This is the brand new 2022. Right away, when you take a sweep around, Bobby, what you're going to see is the trend that they started last year. They wanted to brighten the interior but give you the darker accents. So what they've done is they they kept this kind of off-white with the little brownish kind of... Uh, Ian, Ian calls it... Uh, it's like a combination between gray and beige. Grayish. These little gray specks in here, but they used to have a gray accent. Now we have the matte black. I do like that feature. It also kind of flows along with what we're going to have in some of the appliances. You got an eight cubic foot Dometic fridge freezer combo right here on the camp side. This is a gas electric fridge freezer combo, but what's cool about it is it's also a chalkboard. So uh, if you want to leave some notes or if you want to, you know, hey, go into the store to buy some stuff. Or if it's a rainy day, you want to get the kids some activities. There's a good little thing for them to do. Master Chef inspired kitchen right here. Kind of giving us a modified L on the campsite. You'll see that we have the flush mounted three burner cooktop with the glass cover. Extending your prep space, but also giving you that nice grill style grate that helps move the pots and pans around easier. Accent light on the controls there. Plus the 16 inch oven and the pressed surface countertop, which allows us to have a stainless steel farmhouse style undermounted sink with a high rise faucet. Now the Master Chef inspired kitchen just means you're gonna have more space, some upgraded features, and it's gonna flow and look good. Like what we did here with the modified modern uh, mountain pattern on our backsplash. Up top, we got the Greystone hood and fan, plus the flush mounted Greystone microwave. And to me, having all the appliances match because in your kitchen, in your home, most everything matches. So this to me just kind of makes it feel more, not only aesthetically pleasing, but it's more home because everything kind of matches. You got these beautiful shaker style cabinets right here with the inlay and the graphite black pulls. Now with this being 81 inch high ceilings, you're gonna have some good clearance inside your storage. Plus you got the decorative wood balance here for your campsite window in the kitchen. Entry door. Come around to the side here with the entrances, and you'll see this is where you run your awning and your main slide out. There is another slide uh, in the bunk room, which, which we're going to get to here in a minute. But let's continue the flow uh, right here with the entertainment center. I like what they did with the barn decor here. Um, it just kind of makes it look modern but rustic at the same time. So you got your HDMI, your satellite or cable, plus your 110. But right here on the component shelf, if you notice, they got little hideaway storage inside the Mallard. Just another great feature that Heartland came up with to kind of give you not only more space and maximize the space that's in there, but some little hidden things. So for me, Girl Scout cookies would go right there. My wife would be yelling, have you seen the uh, Thin Mints? Nope, ain't seen them. A little storage shelf there. IRV Technologies Command Center right there with Bluetooth uh, as well as HDMI, and it is dual zone for your speakers outside. And you got a little storage cabinet there with an additional 110 outlet. And some little figurine shelves right there. If you want to put, you know, maybe your Dusty Rhodes, your Ric Flair figurines, or a little potted plant, maybe a succulent, be a good little spot right there. Before we get to the off camp side, Bobby, let's go into the master. One of the features that Heartland added last year that I'm a big fan of is they're giving you a premium cooling foam top king size mattress nestled here in the front cap that same decor which is on the entertainment center matching right here on the front cap frosted glass inlay on the side opening storage shelves and these are pulled forward a little bit so you get deeper storage up there plus you get the little storage shelf and the ward closet on both sides 
extra long nightstand as well in here. Plus you got the ducted AC vents, the dual LED lights, and you got some power options on both sides. Plus oversized windows to give you good cross flow as well as light with the nightshades and the solid wood valance. But to me, when it comes to the family areas, the living area, this is where the rubber meets the road. Whether you're gonna use this as a family coach or you just wanna set this up somewhere at the lake, at the mountains, as a little kind of a vacation spot. You got the plush designer couch right here, which is also a pull-out sleeper, all in a carpetless slide, which makes it easy to clean to go along with the slip-resistant upgraded linoleum that we have here on the floor. But check out the sofa. So this pulls out, you got the strut supported door with the cushion inside. And I see a lot of people that will take this, put this in the pass through storage underneath and use this as additional storage inside for like the board games, clothes, dirty laundry, whatever you want to do. And then the sofa just jackknifes out like that. And here is your cushion to make it a bed. Could easily get two adults on there. There you go, Bobby, take a seat. And if you look at it, it's like a nine inch thick plush foam mattress top. Add that to the fact that the cushions like here even have a pass through, which gives them not only additional padding, but it lets air flow underneath the cushion, which is gonna help with some of the cooling there. Nice, comfortable, it's got that darkened fabric, which is gonna show stains less and show wear and tear less. Comfortable and beautiful. Come over here to the booth dinette and you'll see you got the U-shaped dinette, excuse me. But what's cool about it is if you say, Chris, this is nice and everything, but man, it's just too dark. So I'll tell you what, why not take the cushions? Don't hit your head like I always do and make it brighter because you got the selective style in here. You could go dark or you could go light. It really just depends on what you want to do. The table does reduce down into a sleeper. Plus you got the 110 power outlet there. A little storage space underneath. All surrounded by large panoramic windows with those decorative wood balances that once again, when you look at it with your eye, it just kind of continues the flow, not only of the decor, but it makes the space appear bigger, kind of giving you that more homey and roomy feel. Really like what they did. They also, if you need the option of an extra nightlight, they give you this soft glow backlit fascio, which to me, I think just adds to the aesthetically pleasing aspect of the Heartland Mallard M32. Right here, we got our Dometic controls for our 30,000 BTU furnace. Plus, we got a 13.5 BTU AC in here, which is ducted. Love the pattern, the decoration that we have here on the door. <coughs> Leading into the bathroom with this shower and tub surround with a little bit of a raised tub. I call it the calf high tub because when I get in, it's about calf height for me. So if you want to clean out the dogs, you know, clean up the dogs, clean up the kids, you got your own access to the bathroom right here, which is very handy. Whether the kids want to stay outside, you want to stay outside, or you guys have been hiking or playing on the beach all day and you don't want to bring all that dirtiness into the M32, get them cleaned up in here, take them back into the coach. Matte black features on our shower controls as well as our nozzles down there for the tub, plus the stopper and the skylight. Now, being 6'2", I do need the skylight to give me the additional headroom, but to be honest, I'm not really cramped left, right, or up or down. Got my corner notches right there for my soaps. I like the decorative inlay of the shower surround. Plus I got the oversized medicine cabinet right here with the raised lips, making sure that whatever we're putting in there is gonna stay safe in transit. And the large vanity there with the storage underneath. And the corner mounted plastic bowl with the foot flush. And right up above that, you'll see our hot water controls where you can check your tanks, check your battery, as well as cut on your gas heater, your water pump, or your electric water heater. Now, if you want the quick recovery, you just cut these on at the same time. Nice little feature here in your mallet. And once again, this is a mid-tier RV. Uh, if you're liking this one, please give us a like, subscribe, so you can check out this one and many more because we have tons of RVs. Being Camping World, we got more than anybody on the planet.
do these move out? Yes, they do. So these shelves can come out if you want to make additional ward space or pantry space. Uh, the best thing about an RV is it's yours, so you can put whatever you want in there. If you say, hey, this would make a great hunting cabin or fishing cabin, I'm just going to put all my fishing stuff in there. There you go. Tackle boxes, whatever. Coming to the bunk room here at the rear of this almost 37 foot RV weighing roughly 7,000 pounds dry. This to me is a separate entertainment room. You got the cushioned fold overs here, which are kind of like little selective beds. They can either be a twin bed or you can stack them to side by side and be off a full size bed. But my kids, we used this one time, my kids love these cushions right here. They act as a backer for the seats right here, but the kids will lay on them, they'll play on them, they'll even put them at the end of the bed to give them some additional length. Uh, but there you go, you got options for sleeping numbers. If you don't have as many people, because this will sleep nine plus, and you just need some additional room, take these out. You got storage space right there. They're not built in. So a nice little feature. 200 pound max capacity on the bunk over here, which is locked into place. You'll see that comes down with the plush teddy bear mattress that we have here. This is kid size. Uh, it's not six feet. So that's why you got to watch out uh, for the for the length. But you come over here on the double over bunk with a 300 pound capacity on this one. That's a double over. One adult could easily fit up there. And underneath, you got a little entertainment or storage center with the power, cable, plus ward space and drawers. Just really awesome. 110 outlet, large window in the back, vent, and ducted AC. All in all, great on the inside, beautiful with all these designer inspired updates and fixtures. The barrel ceilings really give it the appearance of being a larger and more roomy RV. Uh, great for the family, especially for that mid-tier. If you want luxury but don't want the luxury price tag, Mallard's the way to go. But let's take a look at the outside of this M32. So here we are on the outside of the all-new 2022 Heartland Mallard M32. Beautiful 37 foot, actually 36, nine inches, roughly 7,000 pound dry, nine sleeping bunkhouse. Let's start right up front here on the outside. You got this molded fiberglass end cap with the LED running lights. And what's cool about the Mallard is the graphics also glow in the dark. Now granted, during the day when we're doing these videos, you can't really see it. I haven't personally seen it, but I hear it's cool. Diamond plated rock guard right here on the frame, which is lifted above the 10 inch solid welded I-beam. Twin 20 pound LP tanks plus power tongue jack up front. And you got the Furion Solar 10 amp quick connect when you want to get those solar panels to help trickle charge the battery. And to me, that is something that is becoming more and more essential as people are going off grid and wanting to boondock. So just a good thing to have. Enclosed underbelly on this one as well, plus powered stabilizer jacks, solid steps. And what Heartland did with their storage is they gave you the King Kong size storage. On some of these units, you can get up to 67 and a half cubic feet of storage. Right here is our grill that comes with the M32 that you can mount in the back. You'll see the power cord, the finished off, the hangers, which is great for these, as well as the lights. And this is set up for the tire control, press, tire pressure monitoring system, or the tire link, which is an app you can put on your cell phone, very handy dandy. With the addition of the storage space in here comes larger doors. So you could easily fit those camp chairs in there, those foldables, those grills. Like if you got the Coleman tailgater or the roadie, take it in there. There you go. Magnetic anti-slam doors and covered hinges on everything around here. I like that because having the covered hinge means, you know, because a lot of times that metal will get exposed and then you get those rush streaks going down. That's nasty. That's just nasty, y'all. You don't need to see that. And on a beautiful white fiberglass sided RV, very nice to have. 80% tent here on the windows, which are safety sealed all the way around. Plus this one has two inch thick foam core insulation to go along with that steel tubed aluminum, or excuse me, that aluminum superstructure, which, is, which, which this thing is built with. Add that to the fact that we have four inches of foam on the roof. This is one of the best insulated and sturdy mid-tier RVs you're going to find. Now, another thing that helps that is the Asdell backing that is behind the fiberglass panel. Asdell is a graphite composite. Now, it used to be RVs were constructed with Luon, which was this wood panel, which is still fine. But with Luon, if water got in there, it would absorb it. It would bubble and it would off gas. Sometimes you have that nasty smell, almost like formaldehyde. You're not going to have any of that with the Asdell. Right here, you'll see the freshwater connection, 110 outlet, back of the fridge, 
the double axle 14 inch aluminum rims here with nitro filled tires with the wide track suspension. Now these are 4,000 pound axles on this beauty and that wide tracks you can see. I mean, my forehead might be able to fit in between those two tires as much space that is in there. That's really going to help this from rocking when you're going down the road, giving you a much more stable ride. Black tank flush here on the campsite. Steel fold up steps leading into the bathroom. But the coup de gracie to the outside to me is this external kitchen. You got tons of prep space, a pull out with a 50 pound weight max on it, plus that countertop here and an actual plumbed sink, not just a wash basin. So you have hot and cold there. Cable connection 110 and the extra large little dorm style fridge. Man, this is this is right on time, man. Ooh, they even finished off the cabinetry there. Just like we have on the inside, you got the decorative style, finished off solid wood construction on the drawers, full extension on ball bearing drives. Now this one also comes with the grill mount and your LP quick connect right there. So if you wanted to put the grill, you got the mount here on the rear bumper, or if you have your own, you can just plug it in. Nice little feature to have. External shower, hot and cold, city water connection plus cable right there. And here is where you really get to see the arch of those dome ceilings on the inside. Over 81 inches of height on the inside, but here, this allows it not only to give you the perception of more room on the inside, but that arch is gonna make sure the water doesn't stay on top of the RV. The rain nozzles, make sure it doesn't fall on you or the slides. Spare tire mounted on the back. Power controls for your rear stabilizer jack. Cable driven slide here for the bunk room. And you got your sewer outlet connections as well as your 30 amp plug. Now this Harlan Mallard M32 comes with a 45 gallon fresh and dual 40s. 40 gallon gray, 40 gallon black. Let me see, I ate cheeseburgers for lunch so I might need to twist and turn to get through here, Bobby. All right, here we go. Power stabilizer jacks up front. Other side of the pass through storage. There you see your LP quick connect fitting as well as your tire link. Great little feature to have. Let me tell you, that's that's one of those things that people get scared about of the blowouts. Nitro has helped that a little bit, but pressure monitoring, that, just get it. Just get it and add it on. But the most important part of any RV is gonna be this info panel, these info stations right here. As you can see, gross vehicle weight on this one, 8,600 pounds. Uh, unloaded vehicle weight on this one is roughly 7,000 pounds. It's like 69, 76. Um, but this is where you take that information back to your specialist at Camping World and you say, hey, what, what does that mean? Because here's what my vehicle can tow. Here's how many people I need to sleep. Here's where we're gonna, you know, here's where we're gonna go camping. We get that information, we can find the RV of your dreams guaranteed. That's just what we do. But if you're looking for something mid-tier with all of those features and amenities, beauty, style, and pretty lightweight, got to tell you, man, the Harlan Mallard, it should be at the top of the list. But leave me some comments down below and let me know, what'd you like about this M32? What'd you not like about it? Because we love hearing from you. And please, while you're at it, give us a like, a subscribe. So the next time we do a video, you're the first one to get it. I'm Chris Young for Camping World. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. Hope you enjoy the Heartland Mallard M32. And until next time, please come check out our RV because they're fun. I'll see you.